Good morning, students. Good morning, teachers. Today's lesson is about the classification. Girls, the, in our world, all living things are classified into the five large groups, which is called kingdoms, according to the, the similarities between them. This process it calls classification. Look, classification that means grouping things by using a set of rules, okay? Scientists classify all living things into the five large groups. Number one is animals. You know that the animals like what? Like elephant, like snakes, what else? Yeah. Lion, those are the first kingdom. The second one is plants. The third one is fungi. And the other one is protein. And the last one is monirans. I will explain all each of these kingdoms one by one. Come and explain the lesson again. Come, Ayla. Hi guys, today we are talking about a classification. Is grouping things by using a set of rules is called a classification. Okay, in the past, the scientists classified all living things to make a largest group, which is a kingdom. Kingdom have five groups. Number one animal number two plant number three fungi number four protistus number five monirans okay animal um, a feed of living thing or once living thing for example monkey bird fish and spider number two plant make their own food for example trees flower grasses Number three, fungi. Absorb all living thing or deep things, for example, mushroom, yeasts, moldes. Number four, my protistas. Make their own food, feed of living thing or once living things, for example, alga, amoeba, datums. Number five, the last one, monirans. No nucleum, some make their own food, some feed of living thing or once living thing, for example, bacteria. What are the difference between monirans and protistas? Protistas have nucleus, but monirans doesn't have nucleus. Thanks for listening.